What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and today we're gonna to be setting up my son's desk with a new mount and new TV. Right now he has a 20 inch LED monitor, which is, it's a nice monitor, it's an older monitor, and it's on an arm mount. And this arm mount's pretty nice, it swings out like this, you go fold it in, okay? But what it does not do is go up and down. So the new mount that we have, not only that you can swing it in and out, you can turn it left and right, you can also rise it and lower it because it has a gas spring lift, which is awesome. And we'll be able to hide these wires. So we rent our home, that's why we can't put any holes in the wall and put the wires in the wall. So the best thing where we're gonna do is get the, a cleaner mount so we can hide the wires. So everything will be a lot more cleaner looking, a lot less cluttered. And we're gonna upgrade his 20 inch LED monitor to an Insignia 32 inch Fire TV, which has three HDMI inputs, and it has a built-in Fire TV, so you have those Hulu uh, TV app, which you can watch TV, like local channels, and uh, you know, MTV, and True TV, stuff like that. And if you're curious about his desk, this is actually a kitchen counter, we converted it into a desk area and it has two kitchen cabinets on the bottom and a kitchen counter on top. If you're interested in that installation, post a comment below. I'll make a video later on. So this is my son, Dominic. He's been in my videos before. He's the one that uh, plays guitar. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're removing the old TV mount and installing the new mount that has two mounting brackets that you could use. One that slides on and clamps onto your desk and one that clamps through your desk. So we're going to be mounting through my desk. And they also have a, a dual monitor mount available if you're interested. Check out the link in the video description below. Now we're going to remove this long bolt so we're able to mount through my desk and put on the wing washer, then put on the base plate, and then use the Allen key that's provided by the mount to tighten everything up. I'm using a 5 ace spade bit and we're going to be okay. drilling through my desk so I'm able to mount through my desk. And now I'm putting on a plastic cover. This basically just covers the base plate. And this is a support bar. And this is the long bolt I was talking about. And my son's gonna screw in the support bar while I screw in the bottom bolt. Now we noticed that the desk is too thin. Right here I'm installing the cable management clip. So I found a lock nut and the lock nut is not um, with the mount. I had to get this separately at Home Depot. But now I'm able to mount on my thin desk. So if your desk is super thin, you may have to use this setup with the lock nut. So just make sure it's snug. Don't over tighten it. And now I'm putting on the arm bracket and use the Allen key to tighten up the arm bracket to the support bar. Now I'm removing the cable cover. Which, which is really nice about this mount. You can hide the cables in the arm mount. And then slide on the cable cover. Make sure you, you, give, you give yourself some slack so the cables don't pinch or pull. So use a you know, six foot HDMI cables if you have to. Yeah. So now we're screwing in the back plate on the TV. This is provided by the mount. And this Fire TV has composite video, it has three HDMI ports, audio return channel, USB, optic out, audio output, uh, headphone jack, really nice TV. And it just slides onto the mount. And make sure you put the back plate on the TV upright so you're able to screw in that lock nut. So now it's locked into the mount. And use the Allen keys to adjust the gas lift spring and turn it, not clockwise, but counterclockwise to tighten up that gas spring lift. 
So if, it, if the TV or monitor drops, then you want to keep on turning it counterclockwise until it has a decent lift where it stays upright on its own. And then right here, this is the tilt. And I'm tightening up that uh, bolt so it doesn't tilt too much you know, forward. You gotta just want to make it sure it's snug so you could tilt it on your on your own. Don't over tighten. All right, so this is the new setup. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it's definitely way better. I like the wider monitor, and it's the mount it's on can it's like it's just really flexible. Yeah. I can move it wherever I want. If I'm sitting really far back, laying down on my bed, want to watch TV, I can raise it and move it out. If I'm like right here playing games, yeah, I can push it back and lower it, so I'm not getting neck cramps like I used to. And it's hiding the wires. So what's really cool about this TV is you could press and hold the microphone, kind of like a walkie-talkie. Check this out. HDMI 2. Oh, I should have said switch to HDMI 2. Switch to HDMI 2. Okay. Boom. That's his PC right there. And even though the TV is advertised at 720p, it's actually 1080i. So if you right click on the desktop and change your display settings, you'll notice right here, it's 1080i. Um, actually, let's go back to home. Hit the home button and play Hulu. Okay. You also have a dedicated Netflix button. Awesome. And you have volume controls. And let's go ahead and hit the Netflix button. And you go straight to Netflix. So if you guys are interested in the mount or the TV, the Fire TV, this is an Insignia version. There's a Toshiba version, which is pretty good also. Those links will be in the video description below. Those links support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos like this, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. If you know anyone that may be interested in the setup, the Fire TV or the mount, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you wanna check out my other TV installs, click on this playlist link right here.